Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, we will take a first look at the new Gen Pages feature in Power Apps. This is Vibe Coding in action. Generative AI will create React pages for us in Power Apps. We simply need to describe our page in everyday words and let Gen AI do all the magic for us. So let's explore this video in action. Gen pages. In model driven apps, we can now add a page by simply describing it. Let's click on this. This leads us to the new Gen pages experience. Here we can simply describe our page in natural language. We can add data from our tables and dataverse. We can also attach images as reference. I have a table of orders that has order information. And this is what a standard view experience in a model driven app looks like. And if I click on a record, it shows me the standard form experience. The number one thing I've heard about model driven apps. How can I customize the UI like canvas? Well, now wipe coding. Let's try something first. I'll add context of my table, which is my order table. I'll simply describe what I need. Build a page showing order records as a gallery of cards using modern look and feel. Include the order number, customer name, payment type and paid date. These are columns in my order table. Make the gallery scrollable. Let's try it out. Generate. The app agent begins its magic. It starts generating React code. It's creating a React page for a model driven app. And this is our generative page. It's gone ahead and written this React code for me. That's currently read only. And here is a preview of that page. Let's publish. Let's refresh my app. Here is the react page, a gallery that shows data from my order table. Let's give it more instructions. Make each card clickable to open the order record in a new window. And the target URL should include the following parameters. I'm giving the name of my table as well. Send once again. App agent springs into action. The update is done. Now, if you notice in the preview itself, you can see how each card is clickable. If I click, this will open that specific order record for me. Let's do more. Add option on top of the page for user to toggle between dark mode and light mode. Gen AI updating the code. Once done, here is the preview. Here on top, it's got an option where I can switch between light mode and dark mode. You want to give your own specific color combinations? Here, I'm updating my instructions. You can also get really specific. This is my company's brand colors. Gen Pages will do all the magic. Done. Here it is. And here is that page experience in a model driven power app. Fully responsive. Let's add another page. Once again, I'll give context of my order table. I want a Kanban board where order records are organized by order status. Gen pages springs into action. You can see the thoughts, how the agent is thinking and what assumptions it's making. You can get really specific here while describing and while interacting with this agent. Here we go. The agent has gone ahead and generated a Kanban board. Well, how about make it support drag and drop as items are moved. The order status 
should be updated. The code's generating and within a few seconds, here I have drag and drop. And as I do this, it's actually updating the status of my item, my order record in Dataverse. Let's publish this. Here is my generative page. Here we go. I can see the Kanban board, move items around. It's also showing me a count of the items. Amazing. Let's describe another page. Once again, I'll pick order. This time I'm saying build an app that shows data from the order table, supports full CRUD operations. The form for the order should be multi-step and should have a guided experience for the users. Here, I will also attach an image. Uploaded an image for inspiration. The screenshot is a screenshot that I grabbed from Dribble. So I'm giving this as inspiration to the agent. Generate the magic of Gen AI. It's going to build me a fully functional application writing thousands of lines of React code. The page is ready. Let's publish. Here is my gen page. I select, it will show me the order details. Edit. That's my multi-screen form. Let's add order number, order date, notes, shipping address, required field validations, it does it all. Can also delete the record. Full CRUD operations and it's followed the same style pattern based upon the image that I provided. Hopefully, mind blown. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.